morning guys happy thursday kind of feels like we haven't talked in forever these days i am feeling extra pregnant extra tired i have not been getting good sleep and our apartment is usually just like a complete wreck but we do have a very exciting shipment coming either today or tomorrow really hoping it comes today really hope it gives me a second wave of energy it's my notebooks they are scheduled to arrive today i don't see any more updates though so we shall see can we also talk about my pajama here let me show you. I am currently wearing this giant sleeper tee from Udi and it is so comfortable. It's just like this oversized t-shirt and I know people are obsessed with pockets. Gosh, I almost forgot the best part. They sent me their original Udi. Oh my gosh, this is their main Udi. Look at this, it's like fleece on fleece. It's a hoodie blanket. You never have to leave this hoodie blanket. They're offering a discount code, so I will link it below. But I gotta say, if comfort is king for you, check out the Udi. We're also in a state of emergency because this is all the coffee we have left in this household. So I gotta figure that situation out. I am now officially 26 weeks pregnant. I had a very great appointment with my doctor two days ago. They flagged me for potentially having gestational diabetes, which is not great news. I know that's just like another complication that I don't want to manage. I know it is super manageable. So yesterday I went and got the next step of the test to confirm it, the two hour glucose test. Results should be out actually now. So I could probably log on and check, but I will do that later because uh, I've just been really struggling with this. We also started working on a lot of baby stuff in the past few weeks, a lot more research. We went to Ikea yesterday and picked up a crib and guys, it is crazy. Like. We just picked up like the cheapest crib, but it was out of stock for months. And last week we got an email that there were a few available, but they sold out in like a minute. When I got another email yesterday, we went right away and picked it up and we got the second last crib. There was another pregnant woman there who picked up the last one with us. Yeah, Ikea's having trouble with stock. So we got our crib pretty early. We also picked up this little chair. I feel like tons of people have this chair. We found it in the as is section. It's very clean and I'm not planning on getting a recliner or a glider. We just do not have the space in our condo. This was like a good little compromise. Hopefully it's comfortable enough to nurse in there. Breakfast time. Last night before I went to bed, I had a sudden urge to journal and I think it was because I was feeling like a ton of anxiety, feeling really discouraged these days. It's a mix of feeling like the baby is coming very soon and feeling like I'm not ready to face the reality of being a mom, but also a small business owner and not knowing how our finances are going to be stable you know just little things like even the gestational diabetes was like very discouraging to me because it just felt like this pregnancy has been very hard so far so it's still a ton to be thankful for too so yeah last night before i slept i decided i'm gonna journal this morning i haven't cracked this guy open in a while i will journal and enjoy my wonderful oatmeal as i always do so i just got a new business credit card because I got a call last week saying that there have been like so many transactions happening on my credit card that RBC has been blocking. Obviously someone has my credit card number and they've been buying like five to six hundred dollars worth of food, clothing, baby toys, like really random things in the states. And so I got a new card. It's a big headache because I have to update all my accounts with it, but happy that things are safe. Now I have a new number I have to memorize. That is okay. Stay on top of your banking. Like check your transactions often because there are so many scams going around right now and scammers are getting really smart and sneaky. Just got word from UPS, gave them a call. My tracking actually said that my packages weren't coming today, but when I called them, they said that they should deliver today. Like apparently it's 
on the truck, which means I gotta go to my parents so I can receive it. Quite a large package. I don't actually know if I can like carry it myself. Like, I mean, I definitely can't do it myself, but see what the situation is. I really hope it gets delivered today because I am out of office tomorrow. I have a friend's bachelorette. Yeah, if I could get it today and like store them away, that would be amazing. We are also having leftovers for lunch. Heating up some sundubu that I made yesterday with pork and shrimp and it was quite fabulous. Not sundubu if you don't crack an egg in it as well. So. Right, we are finally heading to my parents, but we are going to do a quick little grocery haul on the way. I am in charge of brunch for the bachelorette weekend, and I think that's pretty much the best meal to be in charge of. So we're gonna have some shakshuka. I'll probably keep it vegetarian. Yeah, we basically just need like bell peppers and avocados. Let's go. It's so, so hot today. These are looking fresh. Don't know if these will ripen in time. If I should try this creamer, decided to try this one instead. everything except the avocados they aren't ripe enough so I'm gonna try to get them somewhere else we made it guys it is bad out there like it's so hot and thankfully the air conditioner is running over here I don't like to be a drama queen but I actually felt like fainting. It's, I'm pretty sure it feels like 35. We are now in the cool of my studio. It has been a while. I have a few orders to pack and we just wait for UPS now. Like who knows if they're actually gonna come. Like I wish I could just know if they were coming or not, but we do not know. I am casually also having a second lunch. My mom rolled up some pasta and meat sauce. And then this is grilled calamari. I love my mom's food so much, so I'm gonna eat this while I catch up on my emails. I also recently switched over to Wave accounting rather than QuickBooks. A lot of reasons for that. Wave just makes it easier to do some of my US transactions and also have like a really nice invoicing platform and it's free. QuickBooks was around $20 a month, so I canceled that and I've been working with my bookkeeper to get Wave set up and it's pretty much set up. She's just doing a lot of some of the back end for me so that it, it's easier for me going forward. She is amazing. She's like one of the biggest assets to my business. And if you're curious about who she is, message me and I will let you know privately her name. She is a self-employed bookkeeper slash accountant. Hadley, you're getting your tote bag soon. Packing up this 12 by 16 Bible poster for Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. So for these ones, I haven't been wrapping them in tissue because they're a little too big. What I do is put any other items into this white paper bag. And the postcard that they get. And then I just tape this onto the art print. 
all of this goes into a perfectly sized mailer. So satisfying. All my packages have an address stamp with my PO box, their name, logo sticker, and then the shipping label with their address will also go on the package. All my sticker orders go in this glassine envelope. Feels like wax paper, feels like plastic, and it's gonna protect it from water, but it's actually, it's actually paper. It's just very, very like densely, densely compacted paper. Because this is a local pickup order, I am putting it into a paper bag instead. It saves on a mailer. Like this. It's ready for pickup. These are some of the no issue mailers we got last year and I'm just getting around to using them because I ran out of the ones I bought and I'm just pre-stamping these because the ink has a tendency to like smudge on these mailers not on my other mailers but just the material of these and they need time to dry similar to glassine so we are giving them time to dry forgot about like of course like some of my patrons placed orders already the previous day and I guess for some reason I wasn't counting them in the like total and so I feel like it's way less than it actually was. The door. Thanks. Daniel, can you move it inside yeah. for me? <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. Honestly, if Daniel wasn't home, I don't know how I would have accepted this package. I'm nervous to open them in case I get disappointed. Oh my gosh, guys, this is gonna be premium sneak peek material. Oh my gosh. Because I saw the other box, it was like right up to the top. I think Daniel's box. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay guys, let's talk. I opened all my books, one of each. So these are the four notebooks that we have. And they feel amazing, like the cover, the pages, the inside pages, there's ivory. And it comes with like an elastic band and like a ribbon, a page ribbon. My favorite. But... There's a giant butt here. All of this was supposed to be gold foiled. So it was supposed to be imprinted with like shiny gold. But the factory made a mistake and so they were redoing it. And I was under the impression that I was gonna get the new ones first. But I think the mistake ones got sent first. Like I still really love it. Like I think it turned out really beautifully. They're just lined pages. Um, but, but yeah, I'm not quite sure what to do with this and what to make of the order that just came in and then like i don't know when the new like the proper ones are gonna come in now so i'll have to contact my manufacturer and see i already waited like a month and a half for this six weeks which to be fair is not that long considering like covid delays but i was just so excited to get these properly made and gold I was just I was just really excited for the gold foil like I wanted to be able to feel the impression all things considered we have notebooks here guys and this is like a very very exciting day for me okay sorry I wanted to like film unboxing this and stuff but then like as soon as I saw the first book I knew that this was a mistake I'm just preparing my heart for this second shipment to come and for it to not have 
any gold on it and in that case you know what it's okay i i'm gonna have these amazing notebooks still i'm gonna sell them and honestly like maybe i can sell them for even cheaper to you guys because i would be saving money because i'm gonna definitely ask for a refund if there's no gold wow i sound obsessed with gold but i was just like really excited for this detail like it was probably the one detail that i was really excited to splurge on and i obviously did splurge on it but now i don't know where where it's at so it's gonna be another long two weeks of waiting guys okay but i also don't want to like steal the thunder of these notebooks like they really did turn out well yeah when you open it the pages are ivory that was like a nice little upgrade it has a little place where you can write your name and then it's just lined notebook and they lay flat really well for writing and journaling and they're really well made like okay this is a bad example because it's clearly not it's broken but yeah the spine looks great and it's my first time making notebooks first time investing in notebooks and pray with me guys pray that the gold will come because can you imagine this with gold gold detailing on it right now it's just like flat printed but like that would be amazing another day another free ride <laughs> five o'clock work day is done, done. Mm -hmm. okay the shipment literally came at like 4 45 so that was impeccable timing so let's tell them where we're going Sarah's taking me to the car dealership so I can test drive a car because finally time this girl gets her car this girl is getting a car it's time <laughs> it's time she is getting a car driving herself Alex and I are doing everything in our power to get her to these dealership <laughs> appointments because, you know, we want this girl to get her own car. I'm getting a car. Um, getting a car at the worst time possible. <laughs> yeah, I mean, literally the worst possible time. We can't just, we can't keep waiting. This girl needs a car. Has I never wanted a, like, well. Yeah, I mean. I guess everyone doesn't want to drive me. <laughs> yeah, I, did, I don't mind driving you. But, sis, the problem was independence, remember? That was the main thing. I never really wanted a car because I always lived downtown. But now we out here in the suburbs. It's been difficult to do anything. And that's why she's had no social life. <laughs> Except when it involves me or Alex. Yes. We're gonna pick up Alex because we need him. He is negotiating power. Wow. Oh, it's burning. I just realized. We never debuted your haircut on YouTube. <laughs> Guys, Alex got a haircut! This is my same hubby Alex! <laughs> Ever since I started YouTube, I started YouTube April of 2020. Ever since then, he had not had his hair short. It was already grown out by then. Really? So, yeah, because he didn't cut his hair since 2019. First time you get to see him in his glory. This is what he looked like on his wedding day. Successful trip to the dealership. Uh, no, it wasn't very successful, right? No, it's successful. It's successful. It validated what I want. And what she didn't want. She did not like the cars today. I love this salad. It's the freshy cob with chicken and I substitute the corn for edamame. I got biscoff and pistachio. It is so good. 10 out of 10. Mmm. I just feel like I see a... Or I don't, we don't have to sit in the trunk, but... Are you gonna I'll put this down. All right guys, we are back home. I am back in my Udi. We're about to get cozy. I'm gonna take some time to decompress. We have a large book selection here. I actually went to the library. It's what I'm currently reading. I'm, I'm like almost done, maybe the last 10 pages of this one. I'm about halfway through Supergut. And then I started this one, Eleanor. I think with the super gut, I wanted to read it because I was interested in the topic but as I started reading it, I realized I wasn't that interested in the topic and so it's been a long read, it's been hard to get through but with this one, I actually couldn't put it down really captivating, I really liked the characters I did think it was like a little cliche, I don't know what the word is like it was like the suburbs versus the non-conformist the characters' behaviors didn't make too much sense to me like would they actually do that nevertheless 
great story, great variety of characters. Yeah, the library has been such a great resource for me lately. We're about to get cozy with a book. Thanks for spending the day with me. It was really lovely to have you guys around. I'm gonna try to vlog this weekend and perhaps next week as well. Another typical studio vlog where it's a week long, but it was kind of nice having like a short, you know, one day together. Thank you so much for all your support. If you like this kind of content, um, please like and subscribe to my channel. I am trying to grow my YouTube channel. It's something I actually really enjoy as part of my business. And I hope I can share more of my small business, my marriage, motherhood journey, um, and just life with you guys. So thank you. I hope you guys are having a wonderful evening wherever you are. Bye guys. Bye.